games, everybody. Tell us about the babyish behaviour. Yeah, like well, children. It's, it's not just talking like children, but it's also the very kind of baby like gestures. We've seen a lot of that from Makosi with the sort of big, sort of big wide eyes that she looks up at people with. And they serve quite an important purpose as what do well. They do? Well, for Makosi, it's it's a way of disarming her, uh, you know, her opposition. Because obviously, if I look at you with nice big, you know, big girls wide are great eyes, like that. you know, girls, you can't don't, do don't look at me like that. <laughs> it freaks me out when girls do that. Look at the head bow, eyes go up, and you go, what do you want? It's, right, it's very I, I'll disabling, do whatever you isn't want me it? To. Yes. It's very disabling. What do you want me to do, honey? <laughs> well, <laughs> let's talk about that later. Next, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next question. How do you think the group is, uh, has reacted, and how do you think the group's going to uh, change now since that eviction? Because Lisa was very much, well, she seemed to be a kind of maternal figure. Obviously, she she doesn't want to um, look as horrified as I think she was possibly feeling there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, the fact that she um, was such a big smile, such a big reaction, but she kind of covered her mouth like that. Um, one of the kind of telltale signs sometimes when people aren't always um, showing their true feelings, sure. shall we say, is to cover their mouth. <laughs> For a celebrity, the media is both friend and foe. On the one hand, you need the media to improve your profile, to help you get other work. But on the other hand, it can also knock you down and catch you at your lowest. I think what's interesting about the British public's relationship with William and Harry is that it's almost as if the public have adopted them as their own sons. I think because of the loss of their mother at such a young age, the British public feel a sort of a duty to nurture them like they're their own little boys. So in a way, while some people might point the finger at, at Harry's rebellious antics, other people kind of have a bit of a wink and a joke and say, oh, that's our Harry. Certainly, when somebody changes, it does change the whole dynamics of the household. So do you find it quite hard work, sort of, being with him, being with other people sometimes? Is that, is that quite stressful for you? Yeah, I do, I do. At one time I didn't, but since I put all this weight on and everything, yeah, I, I do. So Wayne loves you how you are, but who is it that doesn't love you how you are? Me. Myself. Society today has a huge impact on the way women feel about ageing and, you know, things like social media, the pictures we see of celebrities in the magazines, on the internet. It was really interesting for me to be able to come along today and see real women in their 50s, getting them in for a photo shoot and then sort of using technology to change their, their appearance in subtle ways to iron out that wrinkle there, to see what their actual reaction is. Why do you think women um, want to change their appearance as they get older? It's about liking the image that you see when you look in the mirror. So this is image number one. Yeah. So yeah. what do you think when you look at this image? Um, lots of lines. Quite a few little lines. What is it that yeah. you notice? What, um, what I suppose around here and a few sort of around there. Yeah, better. Yeah. How do you feel when you look at yourself in that image? Yeah, well, I can cook, like I live with that. You like that one? Yeah, no, I really like that. And which one is how you feel on the inside? This is me. This is me. This is me. This is me. 